Yo, it's Corey from Floodway here and I'm back with another set of improvements from around our screen printing shop. I want to start by saying that my favorite improvement in here is exploring the tape and inspection table because that's the perfect part of the process to do more inspection and make sure we're passing perfection on to the rest of the team. And that saves our press operators from inspecting the work that's coming to them. So let's dive straight into these clips because I know that y'all know the drill already, but I still got to say that I hope this gets your gears turning, right? Good ideas in is good ideas out. And if you like any of these ideas, you got to watch the rest of the series. You got to ask questions and give us some feedback because that's really going to get these gears turning for us as well. And it really helps us all grow as both a business and as a community in our industry. And that's been the biggest unexpected bonus of all this is just all the great discussion around it. So please keep those comments coming in, those likes and subscribes. It really helps me keep this channel growing and I really appreciate it. So thanks again for that. And last thing before we dive in is to remember we're filming these things on the fly right after the improvement is made because the important part is not the entertainment value of these ideas. It's really about sharing these ideas laterally across both our company and now across this little industry that we have. So I want to hear that feedback. Keep those questions coming. But I'm going to start the clips now, so let's go. I'll be back at the end to chat a little bit, so stay tuned for that. Hey everybody, um, just here to tell you I added a spot for gloves here in the ink area. Um, we only really have one spot to put them, so I just added a little breadcrumb there. More gloves at ink shelf, one to one. And yeah, that should just reduce any, any over-processing we have with gloves. I mean, now it's all Kanbaned out. It should be simple, easy. Faster, safer, and simpler. Real quick one here. Just added this uh, yellow reminder to keep the covered doors open for airflow to pumps, especially when they're on. All right? So just something to remember. We don't want to run this closed with the pumps on. So when you open this up to turn the pumps on, you can just keep those doors open while you're using them. Make sense? Yo, Corey here. I'm going to try and be quick with this one, but there's a lot to cover. So we got this shop vac and we want to use it more because vacuuming up stuff is way easier than sweeping it and dustpan and all that stuff. But the problem with the shop vac is when it was living over in the tool area, the workshop area over there, it kind of, I don't know, it had a couple reasons it didn't get used, I'm sure. Now, one of them I think is because it wasn't always plugged in. So that's one of the things we did here is I gave it a plug-in spot and it's on a big loop big loop instead of a bunch of little loops like it used to be it's on this big loop thing it's permanently attached here i also added this sign that says how many loops you are from different places in the shop so if you just want to do reclaim which is over there you should give yourself three loops one two three unravel three times and then you should have enough cord to go and you're like eight loops from my office which is way over in the corner there but you know, you're only six loops from staging and from the kitchen and from the front there and stuff like that. So hopefully that helps a ton. And I also made the, uh, the spot for the main hose. I put it in the center of the, of the whole shelf thing here that we made. It used to be kind of attached to the edge here, but I found that that left this hose like dangling out way, way too much. So added that in there just in the center so when you pull it out there you're ready to pick an attachment put it on there and go and i guess adding this uh, little extension here is new too i put a broom in it but really it just makes it easy to kind of to kind of pull the the thing around right and so i'm going to pull it out i'll choose how many loops i need and then i can go anywhere in the shop with it so hopefully that's going to help us keep the uh the floors a little cleaner here just by making the actual process of vacuuming easier because i hate vacuuming i hate cleaning mostly because of all the junk that uh, we're trying to solve here dealing with cords and trying to find attachments and stuff like that so that should make this whole thing a lot easier pretty simple improvement here right just some tape on the floor and whatnot. Well, I guess, you know, give myself some credit. I did have to add an outlet here for the vacuum. That's why I didn't really live over here before, but now it's right by the press where most of the vacuuming needs to get done. So hope that, uh, hope that helps eliminate a bunch of different kind of wastes. 
Yo, Corey here in the dark room in our never ending quest to reduce pinholes. Part of that is sending perfection forward to the next step. So what we're trying to do is make sure we're not, you know, we don't want the next step inspecting for problems. We want to get ahead of them before they even happen. So I put this light under here, this backlight, excuse the wiring mess and stuff. We still have a bunch of air and crap from uh, moving this guy over, but this backlight here, can you see the difference? Let me flick it on and off. So it just lets us see the uh, see through the mesh a little bit better here. And when you're putting some film on, what that allows you to do is really see if there's any imperfections as you're putting the design on before you rinse it out. So that's just gonna help us send better quality forward into the rest of the process and let the rest of our team do less inspecting and more expectations of perfection, right? Yo, uh, this is one of those, uh, if it bothers you, change it improvements. Um, at least a dozen times I'll like put the simple green back and then knock this down all the time. So I simply just moved it to this spot. Yo, Corey here. I just extended this line down here for a little bit of visual control. So we're not going to be leaving stuff out. Yo, Corey here at the inspection table. Uh, biggest thing I added here was the shelf for the tape guns, tape dispensers. We used to have them just attached to these corners because there's already screw holes here and it was super simple, but you had to step kind of in front of it to pull it straight. So now it's aligned. I added this tape as well. So you put your screen on the yellow tape. Like that. And now your tape Boom, it's lined up. Boom, lined up. So we got the process up here as well. The tape gun for patching up pinholes or whatever used to live down there. So we got it a basket, got it put up here. Got the process. Um, the water bottle as well. It used to be down here, but I was having trouble, you know, getting stuff in the garbage. You'd sometimes knock it. So move the water bottle totally up here. And there also used to be a little shelf here because this is an old light table, like an old drawing table. So got rid of that shelf because it's just uh, it was just collecting dust and other crap. And we're gonna reuse that for something else because it's a pretty nice shelf, little baby shelf there. But that's about it. It is ready to go. Next step is gonna be ooh, maybe some tape on the side or something like that. Yo, Corey and Reclaim, I'm just updating this sign. It's about screen drying time. That screens take about 30 minutes to dry, like, you know, enough to coat. So don't dally. That was the original idea. But I want to add this sign that kind of explains just a little bit more of why. The reason why we don't want to leave screens here too long after they're reclaimed. So once we clean them, they're usually in a rack that's sitting here. It's over in the dark room now. So once their screens are reclaimed, we don't want them to sit here. And that's because we always want to plan to coat screens the same day they're reclaimed. The longer a screen sits in the rack, the more time it has to gather dust and create pinholes. If same day coating is not possible, move screens inside the dark room. Like that's where the rack is now. So that is pretty much it. Just explaining why, not just what to do or what just, just a notification, but why, why does this matter? It's because we're trying to reduce pinholes. It keeps dust off the screens and that is pretty much it. Yo, Corey here. I'm working on our daily meeting dashboard. Ignore all the missing data here, but I added a bunch of rows. We were missing some stuff before. So now we're gonna see the total number of jobs done every day, total number of pieces of those jobs done, total number of screens set up, uh, the average operator feedback, and the total time that the press was spinning. So for a six hour day, it'll show how much of that time we were actually printing versus uh, setting up. Bingo, bango. Yo, Corey here with a quick Printavo improvement. I made a video recently where I explained that we added these hyperlinks, like URLs, to the products when you're on the invoices. So that is pretty handy. It brings up this product page, our product page, where you can see the blank price and a bunch of other details just for the client and for us. But for us, one of the main things we're looking at is the wholesale blank price. So now, I've got that added. Let's check it out. So if we 
search dry blend here, it's gonna bring up the youth tee. And if I add that here, uh, you can see, oh, I gotta save the invoice first so you can see the formatting, but there it is. So it includes that blank price, 575 each. It also plugs it in there, but the point is that when we add custom print locations, that uh, we always just kind of have this as a reference point back at the beginning. It helps our clients understand too. The blank price is this, and the final price is gonna be higher based on all the, uh, the details, like on this other one, right? So it would say the uh, base price there and the total price there. Hopefully this helps and is not confusing for clients, but I think it'll be a good one. Just got the prices there. Just a quick one here, big old label as a reminder to exit full screen because after five minutes, this computer goes to like a full screen screensaver of the cameras and it's not very obvious how to, uh, how to get out of it, right? Push some buttons and nothing really happens. You need to F11, boom. Taking a cue from the other book of knowledge that we have in the studio for other departments, I'm starting to accumulate some stuff like admin info, the most important one, people's pizza orders. Uh, Corey printed out this new buyer's persona book for me to read through. And um, there's other things just like, you know, um, improvements that can be made to customer service area, shipping area, stuff like that. Some older stuff like our custom care label template book that maybe could go, but it's handy to have. Um, and there's other things like the customer service loop each day and on the back of course the eight deadly sins so I decided to just put it all in one physical spot rather than having a bunch of loose papers that used to be tacked to this pole here and you'd have to like pull everything down and kind of dig through it if you were looking for something um other stuff that could maybe go in here I have that cheat sheet for outputting oh, film could probably go right here uh, and I'm sure as time goes on, we'll get other things. I just need a spot for it. You know what I could probably do right now is replace my little stand for my heater and I'll just pull it out when I need it, but we'll see. And that's it. We're at the end. So thanks again for watching. I just got to say, if you liked any of these ideas, please like, subscribe, tell me which one you like, tell me which ones make no sense to you because those questions and that feedback is what helps us determine what's still ambiguous. You know, we're a team of four, but we still miss things. Y'all are still pointing out all these awesome ideas. So if you're liking any of this stuff, please actually hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, because that feedback is what helps this channel grow and keeps that conversation moving, keeps this industry pushing forward one step at a time, one tiny improvement at a time, just testing and reiterating and testing again, because continuous improvement needs to happen every day. So thanks again for tuning in. Have a good rest of your day because I am out. Thanks again.